It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Hey everybody, it's Warp Jester, and welcome back to another episode of Ball Rocket Gaming Server Play Series. Uh, today, I'm actually going to be doing uh, a project, a new project that I really didn't intend on doing per se. But, that said, <laughs> we're going to start another one. Um, I, I haven't had a chance to really get into it yet, but I've got so many projects. I need to get myself organized and kind of get a list of to-dos going and actually get things done. Um... Unfortunately, I've not had much luck in that. Uh, I, I tend to be a little haphazard when it comes to uh, getting things done. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, well, I'm gonna turn this off here. I'm gonna turn my coin off. I'm picking up all kinds of ore berries. Uh, where am I? There we go. Yeah, I see lots of ore berries. Um, we actually have a uh, ore berry farm underground here. Little golems running around and plucking ore berry bushes. These ores, uh, ore berries, actually smelt down into a nugget. And, of course, you can make uh, bars and whatnot out of that. And that's from the Tinker's Construct uh, mod. I'll have to show you that sometime. But today, the, since it is the season, I've actually got plans to build myself a tree. Yay! Um, I'm going to be uh, working on building out a tree here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, it's... And a lot of people do trees. Nothing nothing new or exciting in that regard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go in a little more here. Seven, eight, nine. We'll go ten and ten. Uh, but, you know, it, because it is uh, middle of December here, I wanted to get a chance to make a tree for the server and have a little fun. Um, leave that open for the moment here. Uh, the, I've seen many different variations of uh, Christmas trees before. And... Uh, you know, everybody has their take on it. Uh, my take is going to be a little unique here. Actually, is that a... That's a housing. That is not going to work. Uh-oh. I'll deal with that later. I'll put the wiring in. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yeah, so my idea was actually to uh, build out a tree that lights up uh, using this wonderful red net. This is actually from the... Uh, Mine Factory Reloaded mod. And this stuff is, has a programmable red net controller where you can actually go through and uh, uh, set anything from simple and or gaze to counters to all kinds of logic uh, and build it into basically one wire for multiple channels. A really nice little system here. Let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Of course, I was silly me. I didn't want to put it there. Hmm. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I just remembered that I actually want to put the red net line there. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm already starting off good here. Two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. That's better. And then one, two, three, four. Five and six. I'm sorry, I know it's like terribly exciting to see me count here. Four, five, and six. And see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Enough counting for the minute here. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I just want to get this kind of set up here. I think it'll be a good little, little short episode to make a quick. Make a holiday tree. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, being I'm being a little facetious, but there's kind of that always that ongoing people who get upset or feel uh, somehow uh, there's something wrong with representing some kind of particular holiday. I've got plenty of friends who are Jewish, non-denominational, agnostic, atheist. <laughs> I have a very eclectic uh, group of friends, so I'm. I'm pretty easy going. I, I've always kind of taken the philosophy of, you know, uh, I happen to celebrate Christmas. Uh, I'm not really a practicing person, but I do celebrate Christmas. And, uh, you know, I will tell people uh, happy holidays or Merry Christmas, whatever I just <laughs> happen to have in my head. And, you know, likewise, somebody tells me uh, Merry Christmas, I'm going to say you too. If somebody says Happy Hanukkah to me, I'm going to say you too. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to be offended or upset or hurt. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very easy going like that. Uh, but yeah, for the server here, like I said I wanted to get some kind of fun to do, and uh, I figured doing a little 
a little project like this would be kind of fun. I'm going to put some presents into there for the other the other peeps on here so I can figure out to give them for a gift. Now, as we build the tree here, I'm actually going to build it up like a so. Actually, is that right? Could that be one? Uh, we want okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. As Jarek B would say. All right. So I peel that out. Now, the idea here is we're going to have one layer kind of short like this. I think that's right. Oh, that's too, too, too long. Too long. One, two, three. There we go. And uh, the next layer on top of it is going to be just a little bit, itty bit bigger. Is that right? One, two, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. That'd be at the widest part there, I guess. Three. Yep. Yeah, it should be one, two, a three. There we go. Yeah, so let's do that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, the idea here is we can go ahead and build this out. Uh, so that's actually going to be wood there. So one, two, three, like this. I'm sorry, I'm spinning around so much here. One, two, three. And doop. And that looks... Oh, that's why. I keep, I keep forgetting there's supposed to be wood here. <laughs> I just try to give a... When you look through the leaves, those things. Uh, the first question people are going to ask is, that's jungle leaves. Why would you want to use jungle leaves for a Christmas tree? You know, it, it is. It is. <laughs> um, however, I kind of like it because they're they're a little brighter colored green. Actually, let's go ahead and nap here real quick. Borrow Bunny's house. Hi, Bunny's house. Nap time. Just keep her up there. Oh, that's water. I'll hop back here. But yeah, I, I like the look of the leaves. They're 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 very green and pretty and vibrant, and they kind of look like they got little ornaments built into them. You can see those little orange dots there, and uh, they kind of contrast with the uh, the spruce woods. So I kind of like them. So the next layer here, we're actually going to build out our red net again, and this one's going to come out to da da da, just one shorter than the last one, like that. Actually, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember here because it's um, one, two, three, yeah. So I'll come out to the there, and then that'd be there. Okay, good. So we'll put that out, then we'll go one, two, three, four, and five, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay. So, yeah, we're going to go five out this time. And we're going to kind of stagger these out. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, as I said earlier, the uh, red net cabling actually can carry multiple signals. So you can actually color code the input-outputs of red net cable when you connect things to them, like levers and, and whatnot. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to take advantage of here. So we're going to go ahead and... Oof. I'm sorry, my mouse is... Unusually sensitive, so I apologize for the zippy zippy around. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and fill that in. Ah, there we go, and there we go. Ah, yes, 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 yes. yes. That's what I want to see. So I'm gonna go like this, and we'll have these leaves hanging out just over the last level. This is gonna be a very symmetric tree. I was gonna do a very kind of abstracty. Uh, you know, not symmetric, kind of natural-looking tree, but it. Besides the fact, it's a little more difficult to do. I'd be, you have to be creative. Oh my God, creative! Oh. Um, <laughs> you also have to do a little finite tweaking here and there. And I have some other elements, al elements, really, elements <laughs> I wanted to do that uh, um, included ornaments and whatnot. I'm going to show you in a bit here, and. Uh, I just couldn't be bothered to try to be creative with the tree itself. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there we go. So the idea here is we're going to have this wonderful little staggering effect here. And the other thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be using these uh, lanterns. This is part of the uh, Project Red mod, I believe. 
You'll notice I've got some regular ones, I've also got some inverted ones, and I'll explain that in a little more detail. But the idea, just to give you an example here, is when we put these guys up, we're going to put them up just like that. And now I've got this beautiful little light there. And then I'm actually going to wrap all of this stuff here, this cabling, with um, uh, cut leaves. I actually got my saw. I'll actually pull that right now. This is another... Uh, this uh, handsaw is from, oh my god, uh, multi, multi-block, I believe it is, uh, multi-block plugin. It's kind of the pseudo replacement for the uh, red power uh, micro-block feature, and so I can actually take these leaves here, and I can actually dice them down. So I'm actually going to dice these leaves down into panels or kind of covers, like that, and then I'll go ahead and put those around the uh, the cabling itself to kind of hide it a little bit. Now it is going to connect itself in that regard. So what I'm going to actually be doing is I'm going to be uh, recoloring the face a little bit and then setting these just cable only so they won't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, the core of the tree here on the leaf built and then we'll come right back. Right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Look at what we've done here. Yay, it looks like We've done nothing. <laughs> now, really, uh, we've gone through. I've gone through and uh, gotten the cables put in place and done a little work to give them to look a little better. Um, basically, what it boils down to is when you put cover panels on. The problem with these cables is that they will actually connect to it, and you can see right here it's white, kind of shows through. So that, that was a little bit of a, a annoyance. So what I went ahead and did is I just changed these to cable only mode. You can use the precision sledgehammer here, and as you see in the text I'm changing these things over to forced cable mode. When that happens you'll see that they stop connecting to things. So that's an easy way around the issue. Now I can't do cable mode for this last one here. The reason for that is is that if I put uh, the lantern here on top, and I'll show you. Ooh, ooh, I cannot fly. There we go. If I put this into cable only you can see it kind of disconnects there and it actually won't respond to that lamp anymore. So I have to leave this one in regular mode. But what I can do, or what I have been doing, is I go ahead and just put these uh, pieces on like this. And this. I'm just trying to get the faces to show up. And then the precision sledgehammer, we're going to go ahead and change the color of these. And the reason for this is, is the color looks a little darker. As you can see on these ones up here. It's a little harder to see. So it doesn't stand out. It's not quite quite as much of an eyesore otherwise. Um, the color coding is actually part of the functionality. As I said earlier, these are a multi-channel uh, redstone conductor. And so when you set these things to a particular color, you can actually have different uh, different channels doing different things. We're actually going to use that to our advantage for this build. Now, you can see how these things now I got this in cable connection only. They no longer connect at all. We'll kind of fill this in here. Doop, 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 doop. Kind of mask it off a little bit. It's not perfect, but yeah, it's not bad. And now with these in black mode, when I go and put these up, as you can see, woohoo! Looks a little better. It's a little less uh, stand out. Hey, that's not right. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so that is that. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is putting these lamps up here. What I want to do first, though, is I want to go ahead and get an order going. Let me get my lamps out here. Run over to our little chest. Oh, i got to turn these off again. Just trying to pull cables out from in between the branches. And uh, it was becoming a nuisance, so I had to turn my, my coin back on. All right, so we're kind of done there. Keep one around just in case. Got myself a programmable redneck controller. I'll show you that in a few here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab. Doop. So we've got our red inverteds, and then we've got regular red. Now we've got already got one here. What I've been doing is I've been kind of alternating as I go around. I'm actually putting lights up to the center masses. So we're going to go. That is a red regular, or sorry, inverted. So it lights up when it's got no redstone. And then it turns off when it has redstone signal applied. If you play with red power at all, um, you get the exact uh, understanding of that. You, you know, the red, star, the red 
Yeah. Red power lights work exactly the same way. So same concept. These just look a little different. So we had inverted there. So we're going to go up one level and do a regular. And you see it's not on. And then we'll go back to inverted. Boop. And then we'll go to, let's see, that was on that level. So on this level, we'll do a regular. And then we'll do another inverted. Boop. There we go. Yeah, it looks right. All right, we're going to hop back down here. We'll go ahead and grab the next one. So we've gotten our reds done. So there's the green inverted and the regular. And I'm going to do the same thing again, but just to keep things as random as possible. We're going to start with the regular. We start with the inverted reds. We're going to do an uninverted green. It's going to help mix things up a little bit, trust me. <laughs> when we get there, you'll understand. Now we'll go ahead and do an inverted. And I'm just going around alternating back and forth per level. One per tier. So we got a green down there. So up over here we're going to have... That was a green inverted. So we're going to do a green regular. Whew. Try to keep track of things here. I'm going all, going all kinds of crazy, I think. And we'll go back to our inverted. Whoop. Good heavens. I'm like an awkward turtle trying to climb a tree. I don't know why I would think turtles would climb trees. That's kind of a strange thing. Uh, forgive me. I woke up late today and had a cup of coffee, which is clearly not enough. <laughs> and then we'll put one up here. And I ran out of light. That seems wrong somehow. So there's green regular, green inverted, green regular, green inverted, green... Oh, I see what happened. I put an extra green on this level so for anybody who either doesn't play or you know play with or celebrate christmas and christmas lights uh the core colors more often than not tend to be uh i'm gonna do blue next here red blue green and yellow for the most part or orange really but the orange is a little bit too close to the uh red of course the yellow is kind of close to the green so what are you, you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? So uh, I picked those as the core colors here. I'll put that down. So I'm going to invert and then put regular. And I said we're just going to continue to go around here and up one. Um, because like I said, I was I was raised in a family that celebrates Christmas. And uh, you know, it, it's... Yeah. My my experience is apparently from what from what I learned later in life is apparently a little bit different from uh, a lot of people. Uh, my family is a very close knit family. I grew up with my father and my grandparents, and uh, my father had four siblings, two brothers, two sisters, and they all had lots of kids. We have a, a big immediate family, cousins included, and uh, my my holiday. Uh, <laughs> My my holidays basically, you know, Thanksgiving and, and Christmas and, and Easter were more often than not around the anywhere from twenty to thirty people in the house. And my grandparents own a modest little you know, small little uh four bedroom they call a ranch style home. So it's got a living room and a family room and decent sized rooms. It's not it's not small, but it's not a mansion or anything like that. And then you get <laughs> thirty plus people all crammed in there and all vying to get from place to place. And one of the major access points uh, getting from place to place was through the kitchen, what they call a galley kitchen. Basically, it you have the, the dining room going into, live, into the family room on one side, and you've got the entryway going into the rest of the house on the other. And there's two ways to get from side to side, but the kitchen's a common path we take. So you've got all the all the ladies in the kitchen making... Uh, the Christmas or Thanksgiving meal, and they've got all the kids and other people tromping through and upsetting them. There's yelling and <laughs> it, it, it's interesting. I it, mean, it, yeah, it's it's great to see family, but man, there are times you want to go rip your hair out. <laughs> so that that was kind of my my holiday experience. But yeah, that said, uh, I've always enjoyed it. It's always been a pleasure to have family around and see everybody. And uh, especially nowadays, it's really interesting because. You know, from my conscious memory, we were the kids running around the house, playing outside in the backyard, getting into trouble, <laughs> getting yelled at to get out of the kitchen. 
And now, you know, many of us are uh, all grown up. I've got three kids now. I've got a seven and six year old and a little baby that's about eight months old. My cousins, you know, all six of them have kids, multiple kids. Um, so our family has grown exponentially. And uh, it, uh, it's, it, it's a fun experience. It really, uh, it, it, it's very heartwarming. It really is. All right, enough about me. Back to the tree here. So I see we've got our lights set up here, and, and look, there's one set that's on, one set that's off. That doesn't look very good. But here's where it gets interesting. Well, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to go through, and I'm actually going to use my precision sledgehammer again. And what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to go through and set all these panels here to the same color as the lights themselves. So all the reds are going to be red paneled, all the greens are going to be green paneled, and so on. And once that's done, I'm going to do a little red net logic to take advantage of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done real quick, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 